War Beast Armor is a stat selectable exotic set that we can craft, and in this video we will learn how to do that step by step. As you watch, if you enjoyed the guide and found it helpful, please go ahead and subscribe and leave a like. I also made an announcement yesterday about our Guild Wars 2 community PvE raid training for new players. So please make sure to check it out. I will leave the video in the comments and description. This is going to be part 6 of our series that covers all the different sources you can get stat selectable gear from Guild Wars 2. In the previous video, we spoke about lunatic armor, which you can also get by crafting. However, this is something you can only get as a recipe from during Halloween. But War Beast is something that you can do any time of the year. This video was based on some of your suggestions in the comments. So if you have any suggestion or request for another source that we can add our playlist, it would be great if you can include it in the comments below. To be able to craft the War Beast armor, you must have the recipe for it. You can get them as a lucky drop while you are doing bounties in pacifier maps, or you can buy them directly from the trading post if you want. The name of the recipe will include Harrier in it. However, it will be stat selectable when you craft it. If you are not sure what is the name of the item you want to craft, I will leave the details in the description that will give you the names of the recipe per item per weight that you want to craft. You will be able to do that with medium, with a leather worker 400, and for light you will need tailor at least 400, and for heavy you will need armor smith at least 400. If you already have a certain recipe and you hover on it, it will tell you in a red line you already know this recipe as you can see on the screen. So make sure you don't buy one of them that you already own. Right now, as an example, I will show you how we will craft a medium glove from the War Beast armor. The first step is buying the recipe itself. And once you pick it up, just double click and it will unlock and now you can craft it. Go to your crafting station and in our case, this is going to be the Lizard Worker because we are crafting medium and type War Beast and you will see the different recipes you have. And here is one of them, War Beast Vembrace, that we just unlocked. This is the one I want to craft. The ingredients for it will require you to have the Insignia of the Harrier, and the War Beast Hardened Glove Panel, and the War Beast Hardened Glove Lining. Those two components, whatever it is you are crafting for light, heavy, or medium, are always going to be there automatically unlocked, so you don't need to discover them. However, Insignia of the Harrier will need you to discover it before you can craft it. I already have it discovered, so I will not be able to show you that on the screen right now. However, to discover it, just put those four two components here together in the discovery tab. And when you have them, just click on craft and it will unlock the Harrier Insignia for you. You can of course also just buy it directly from the trading post if you want. However, keep in mind that this will be much more expensive than crafting it yourself. If we want to craft one of those components, one of the items required will be this oiled forged scrap. And again, you will need to discover it to be able to actually craft it. The recipe for it will be vial of linseed oil and this silver of twitching forged metal and pulsing brand spark. You can buy those items directly from the trading post or you can also get them as a drop while you are doing stuff in pacifier. And as for the vial of linseed oil, you can get it by just refining some flax seed or you can buy it from the trading post directly. But once you have the three components, put them together in the discovery tab and you will be able to craft the forged scrap metal. And those are all the items you need. You will not need to discover anything else. And for the record, once you discover it once, you will be able to craft it anytime you want. I prepared all the materials needed. And now we can directly craft our War Beast Vembrace glove for medium armor. So here we go. And now we have it. And of course, you will also unlock the skin if you have done it for the first time. Once you have the item in your inventory, you can right click and customize and you can choose any stat you want in-game. Based on the current prices of the market, 
It will cost you about 5 to 9 gold to craft each piece. And that price is going to be cheaper than many sets like for example Viper, Trip, Blazer and such. However, it is much more expensive than the core Terrier stats like Berserker and such. So make sure you don't use this type of armor, the War Beast armor that we just crafted, for things like Berserker and such. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.